Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, we got a good one for you today. If I, I'm, I'm interested too. I'm pretty sure I know how it's going to end. But two fighters I, I've really enjoyed watching. Jai Apataya, Marius Breedis. A good fight the first time. I think Jai Apataya is a pound-for-pound pound type level fighter. Breedis is on the down slope of his career. So how does this fight go? Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Um, it's also in this banner below. Get you the lock of the week. Get you a ton of other perks. It's just five dollars a month. Five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week. Gets you every week. We hit it every week. We've hit it three weeks in a row. I love this week's lock of the week. This week's lock is beautiful. The odds are good. It's a three-way parlay, which is typically what I do. Three-play parlays is typically how I operate the lock of the week. We hit them every week. This week's good. The, the odds are nice. It's a safe. Lock, it's going to make you good money. Join the Patreon. Also, subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, I was just talking to one of the Patreons, and he was saying the first fight was tough. It wasn't an easy fight, but it wasn't all that tough either. I went back and watched it a couple of times doing my tape for this fight. And uh, the cards are probably close enough. I indicated it won't be like that this time. No one's really got home field advantage this time around. Jai Apataya, look, Bradis is a great fighter. Great, great cruiserweight. He gave Usyk hell back in 2019, I guess, 2018, 2019. Really good fighter, high-level guy, good skills, power boxer. He needs to come forward. He can push Jai backwards. He can he can push people backwards. Bigger, stronger fighter in the ring. He looks like the bigger, stronger guy physically. High ring IQ. Smart guy. He knows how to win rounds. He can put his shots together. He can flurry. He can keep you on the back foot. He knows how to win rounds. He's a good fighter. He's a very good fighter. He's been inactive for two years since the first Apataya fight. So it hasn't been a full two years. Let me not give you bad information. Yeah, it's been almost two years. July 2022. So it's been almost a full two years now. Jai Apataya, on the other hand, has become like a pound-for-pound guy. Good skills. He's got good fundamentals. He's got good skills. He's defensively. Look, he's a little bit slow. He's not fast. He picks your shots well. He times your shots well. He punches in between your punches well. He's a good fighter. Sharp skills from the outside, and he's good on the inside. He's just lacking that next level athleticism, that next level power, all the things that Apataya has. Defensively, he's good. He stays in the high guard a lot of times. Good movement. He doesn't stay in front of you. He turns his feet. He turns, he turns, he turns. He's Whoever taught him how to fight taught him well, and he's a good fighter. And that's why he had a good career. He's old. He's inactive. He hasn't fought in two years. He's not going to get better, and Apataya has. So Apataya beat him convincingly the first fight. Apataya's gotten better. He's gotten older and, and worse. How's this going to go? <coughs> yeah, good head movement, good fundamental fighter, decent pop. You know, he just checks a lot of boxes. He's a good fighter in, in Bruce, which is why he had a really good career, why he fought Usyk so tough, but that was years ago already. What year was the was it 18 or 19? Let me look that up real quick. It was 18. Six years ago, that fight. His best days are behind him. No disrespect to him. Six years ago. He's, he's aged a little bit. Apataya, I, I think, is the most underrated guy in the sport. Apataya is him. Apataya is that dude. Much quicker fighter, lightning quick counters, lightning quick reflexes. I, I mean, for a cruiserweight, this guy's athleticism and reflexes and speed is really off the board. Quick, straight shots, good range-finding jab. Stays composed, picks his shots well, takes his chances. He, he knows when to press. He knows when to box. He can do it all. Excellent feet, great feet. There's so many good things 
about Jai Apatai. It's hard to find the negative. He's that level of fighter. He's explosive with the hooks. Really good pop. He's good off the front foot. He can box from range. He's got skills. He's just all around. This guy is hard to beat. Like He's a really good cruiser. The only thing is he doesn't look that physically strong. He looks like a little bit smaller for a cruiserweight. He like he looks a little bit like a light heavyweight. I don't think this is a guy that can move up to heavyweight, but that's not what we're asking him to do. We're asking him to fight as a cruiserweight this fight. And he can bank from the outside. He's extremely versatile. He can fire on the inside. He can press forward. He can trade in a phone booth. Excellent footwork. He gets away. Good movement. He leads with these powerful hooks. Like they don't look like a lot, but you can see that they dent his opponent. He is just he is just so good. He all the athleticism for a cruiserweight he has power above average power, speed, lightning quick speed, footwork, A plus footwork for a cruiserweight. This guy has the makings of an all time great cruiserweight. So in that again, Breed is a very good fighter, and I don't think he's going to go quietly into that good night. He's going to make it a fight, but it's just not going to be nearly enough. It wasn't nearly enough the first time, and this time Alpatai is better and Breed is, is old and, and, and rusty. So I don't see this going particularly well for Breedis. I want to take a look at the odds for this fight. Ooh, Santion got a little better on the odds. Let's pull up the odds on this. Jai Apatai is now at minus 650, which I, I think is reasonable. Fight outcome. So we're going to put one and a half times bet on that. That's a safe bet. So we're going to make $23 on that. I want to put a smaller bet on this. So we're going to bring the odds down a little bit if Jai Apatai wins by KO, TKO, TQ. Apatai is going to win the final money line. It's going to make us 23 bucks on that. Let's take 23 and put 50 on Jai Apatai to win by KO, TKO, DQ. The odds on this are nice. I, I think he's going to stop him. We, we've seen him get stoppages. We've seen the power surge. 30, $35 on that and $23 on that. $35 and $23 is $58 on a $200 bet. So we can bring the odds all the way down to better than minus $400 by, by doing these two bets. It's a nice little bet. It gives you... Little, little little leverage just in case Apatai does win by KO, TKO, DQ, but I certainly think that he does. I think there's a, a very good chance he does that. So I'm going to take Apatai on the money line at minus 650 on a one and a half times bet and a half a bet, half of whatever you typically bet on Jai Apatai to win by KO, TKO, DQ. It's good money, good upside. $200 bet is going to make you $53 on, on something I feel is extraordinarily safe. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Get this week's lock. Ask the Bookie anything. Ask me anything at all. Ask me how to break down a fight. Ask me to do a video. I'll do it. But there's a free t-shirt involved. All the perks you want. $5 a month. Join the link below. It is May 17th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.